is Rylan Weens. I'm from Saskatoon Diving Club and uh, I'm diving at the national level and I've just started international competitions. I'm the first Canadian diver to go tens across on one of my dives at nationals. I think of it kind of like a book where you have to turn the pages of the dive, like think about what you have to, then flip the page and think about the next thing until you are under the water and come up for air. I am a mainly a 10 meter diver, but I also dive three meter. But I've been focusing a lot more on 10 meter nowadays because I've been doing a lot of competitions up there. And my coach is Mary Carroll. I started diving when I was six years old. Uh, me and my brother decided to try a summer camp. And uh, Mary just said, if you want to come back, there's spots open. So we came back and just kept going from there. We were driving on Idlewild and by Harry Bailey, and there was a sign that said, learn to dive. And that's where it started. We signed up for the summer camp and they loved it. In the fall of that year, we had a call from Steve Carroll and he said, uh, my wife Mary was interested in your boys for diving. They, they did very well in our camp and we would be interested in bringing them back into the uh, competitive stream of diving. Would you be interested? And we're like, well, you know, what are, what are we up against? And they're like, well, let's, we'll start them off at three days a week, two hours a day. So that's kind of where it started. Ryland became the diver he is from starting off being a kid that loved to jump into a pool, for real. I look at him as a kid who loved the sport of diving and was able to be taught right and enjoy it at the same time. It came pretty naturally to me, but nowadays I definitely have to work really hard to, really hard to keep improving. <laughs> yeah! Sport is more than a game to me because I put lots of my life into it and it's just not about winning the whole time, it's about having a good time. Rylan Weens won gold medals for 1 meter and 3 meter springboard and 10 meter platform to qualify for the national championships at the Vaughn Baird Polar Bear Classic. At the Canadian National Championships, Rylan won triple gold on the 1 meter, the 3 meter and platform and set two Canadian records and two Saskatchewan records on the 3 meter and platform. My highlight for the competition was the platform, and I had spectacular dives. Uh, my I got nines on basically every dive, and that's like the second highest score you can get. And I got the national record by over 80 points. To represent Canada for me is like my one of my dreams. Well, the sport of diving, when you get right down to the technique of it, it comes down to all the laws of physics and how you're going to teach it to make sure everything is done properly with the lines with the body. I've had a couple of bad wipeouts <laughs> within the last two years. One of them was, uh, was off 10 meter and my leg bruised and kind of welted, but... And then another one was off 5 meter, I landed completely flat and I had like little blood coming out of my stomach. I wiped out on front three and a half. It was in another pool and I got completely lost and just wham, right on my side. It hurts, it hurts a lot when you break the laws of physics. You know, they're gonna go too far out, it's gonna cause them to smack, or heaven forbid, the line's wrong and they come too close, it's gonna hurt. But the laws of physics make great diving, and if they're broken, it makes bad diving. I love to see him dive. It's, it's amazing the, the things he can do. And I can tell you as a parent that tried to learn to dive, it, it, it's darn scary. And it kind of gave me perspective on kind of him standing up on the 10 meter and throwing a back three and a half. Like I'm on the one meter trying to do a front one and a half and it's, I can't do this. What are you talking about? I can do this. And he just goes up, doesn't even like really flinch at it and just does what he has to do. And I guess that comes from trust in himself and trust in his coach. Mary knows what he can do and what he can't do and and believes in him and so if she believes he can do it, I kind of have to go along with it, right? Because she knows what he's capable of. She actually used to be a diver and she went to the Olympics and so she knows what it takes to get there and knows how to train, knows how to train the divers and knows what skills you need to get there. So she's really awesome that way. 
Arms up. Good, you're bending down. Well, you're just not extending, so it's close. Well, uh, as a little girl, Mary was a gymnast. And I always saw myself as a gymnast until about the age Rylan is now, I started diving. So I was 14 going on 15 that summer and they built a pool in Thunder Bay where I came from and I went and tried it out. And I had big goals. I wanted to be on national team. I wanted to go to the Olympics. And I look back and I had a really nice, I'm guessing and selfless gymnastics coach. Because he told me, you've gone as far as you could in our city. And I switched sports. She went on to become a 14-time senior national champion. And the final dive for Mary will be a forward two and a half somersault in the pike position with a DD of 2.6. She only needs fours to win. That should do it. A little short on the entry, but it should be good enough to win the goal for Mary DiPiero. She only needed 31 points for first place. She's not quite vertical enough, and that will cost her a few points. But when you consider the tremendous pressure she was under, she came through when she had to with that final dive. 50.70, and a big hug from her coach, Mitch Geller. Mary, how does it feel to have that gold medal around your neck? Really good. I'm really happy I won. I'm so excited. You won this for a special person. Yes, it's my mother's birthday today, and I'd like to wish her a happy birthday in Thunder Bay. Trying to be humble, I went to the Olympics, I went to the Canada Games, uh, Commonwealth Games, the Pan Am Games. I've done it all as an athlete, and I've done it as a commentator and now I want to do it as a coach. The sport in diving has changed, I'm gonna say, technically. It's gotten way more advanced. I mean, I look back when I went to the Olympics in 92, we were the only club in Canada to do dry land. And you look behind me and we have tons of dry land and you need the dry boards, you need the trampoline, you need the belt coach, you need the conditioning and gymnastic background. Even if you're not a gymnast, you practice the tumbling for speed. Fast arms, get the reach, you're on your own. Everyone's doing one more flip, but the height hasn't changed, right? So we're, the athletes are stronger, they're faster, and their technique is better. So understanding, I think, and science has helped a lot in getting physics involved in the angles and momentum of your arms, all of it, that's really improved the sport of diving throughout the years. Drop, swing, chest stays straight. Good, you're getting bent arm to keep them straight. Okay, so cultivating the desire to want. This was in 2016. Mary, do you think I'll ever get a 10? I'm like, yeah, I, I know you will. And he's like, well, on what dive? And uh, do you think I'll get at this nationals? No, you're gonna get your 10 on one of those easy dives. The front one and a half, we call them compulsory dives, and he does them beautifully. But because he's so young, I don't let him do one off the 10 meter. He does his hard degree of difficulty dives off the 10 meter and his simple dives on the seven meter just for the purpose of impacts. I don't want him getting hurt. So I said, I think your first one will be on a front one and a half pike. Could I do that on seven? I said, yeah, so it won't be this nationals. And he's like, can I, can I just try one today on 10? And I was like, Rylan, you already did 18 dives off 10 meter. That's your max, we're not allowed anymore. J just one? It's like, Rylan, no. And I, I got a little harsh. I'm going to say, we've trained all year for this. Pretend we do one extra dive in the 10 meter. Your wrist is blown. You don't win. Wouldn't that be a fun thing to say? Oh, because we want to do a front one half on 10 meter. We ruined the weekend. So now we're at nationals. We're on deck. He's on the computer filling out his sheet. And I check to make sure it's right. And he gets to his front one and a half. And he says, Mary. And I went, don't you dare ask if that's going on 10. If you want to get a 10, you're getting it on your optional dives. So we were there in Winnipeg, and in the dive world today, they can't miss. And they have to place dives that are amazing, actually. And so he you know, pulled off some really nice dives, as we know he can. And then he goes up for his reverse two and a half. I remember uh, watching it, going, OK, he's standing there. He's taking a little longer than he normally does and looking up to the 10 meter. And then it just disappeared on the entry. Like, really, there was nothing wrong with it. 
The judges are not far from us, and they're like 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 10's across the board. And we're like screaming, we're like ah! I could hear the cheering underwater and I was just pumped. And then when I came out, I don't know, I just gave my coach a hug. We had a standing ovation for, I don't know, I'm gonna say five minutes. Because all I know is we meet each other, he does his dive, and our bodies are still doing what we would normally do. He would walk towards me, and I would walk towards him and we'd give the correction. But there was no correction. From there, well, I had to calm myself down a little bit. I was, I was really hyped up, I suppose. After the embrace, you did it, it was awesome. He goes to sit in his place where he sits, and I start shaking. I'm like, oh my, I'm shaking. And I was like, what does Ryland feel like? So I peek over, and he's gnawing on the inside of his mouth. I wonder, Ryland, how are you feeling? I'm shaking. I said, and he has a dive now in like three minutes. And I was like, okay, get up, get up. And then we do a walk around pool deck because it's cold, right? So we got to get back in the pool area and trying to get his mind frame turning the page, right? To not think about, what do I do now? I just did my goal. That was my goal. I kind of missed my next dive a little bit because I was still a bit crazy from those, that dive. After that, it was like, okay, how you feeling? I think I'm okay. And then he goes up and pulls the next dive and he pulls like nine, nine and a half. And I'm like, oh my God, this isn't my kid. I can't believe this is my child up there pulling amazing dives like that. I will never forget that. And it was the first diver ever in Canada to get straight tens. No one else ever has. And then the rest of the dives were eight and a half, nine, nine and a half. And then he became national champion. It's a one in a lifetime thing. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, you know, he can do it once. Why can't he do it again? Ryland's parents are a dream come true for me. They want what's best for their kid. And they want what their kid wants. They want their kid to achieve his goals. They're like super supportive. They always come to my competitions, help me pay for training. But yeah, I'm just glad that I have such a good family. A lot of parents would, my kid wants to be an Olympian, but I don't ever want him to cry. I don't ever want him to be sad. Um, I want him to reach all his goals always. And I want him to have weekends off and every holiday that the school gives him. That's not how it works. She works me really hard, like pushes me to the limit and raises my bar, that's for sure. He doesn't stop at diving, like when he comes home or on the weekends, the kid doesn't slow down. I like to do basically everything. I snowmobile, dirt bike, snowboard, wakeboard, go out for outings with my family and cousins and grandparents, and that's really important to me. So my whole family dirt bikes, even up to the grandparents, and just love to do stuff together. This is his life, and when you ask him, you know, do you ever want to quit or do you want to try something else? There's never. This is, this is his dream, and we're kind of letting him live his dream, so. Uh, it's a great sport to be in for traveling because you travel a lot. And uh, getting to see all the new places and pools is really awesome. And compete against people from all across the world. It's a dream come true. If you have program ideas that you'd like to see on Max TV Local On Demand, write us at max.local at sastel.com.